Hey everybody, welcome back to another create tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to make a custom thumbnail for your custom brush. So I'm going to go over how you can do this the easy way, which isn't a bad way to do it, but it, it's going to give you some restrictions on what you can and cannot do. So when you go to make your new brush, you know, start Krita, you go, oh, I want to make my brush now. Go up to your brush settings here, your brush editor. In this area, there is a dotted lined box. And here you can start making your custom brush um, thumbnail. And that's just based on like whatever you're messing with here in the scratch pad. So if you have a pattern brush, you can put that pattern in there or put like increase the size and all that fun stuff. And that can be your custom thumbnail. Now there are restrictions to that. So if you wanted to make a very a series of brushes and you wanted it to have the same thumbnail there, it's not really gonna carry over especially if you're changing the type of brush you're going to be using. So one way we can fix that is go ahead and make your custom brush and save it. And then we're going to go to our paint to presets, I'm sorry, paint presets here um, in our folder and look at the file for that thumbnail. So if you're not sure what this is, on PC this is going to be where it is. It's going to be under your user data your whatever account, app data, roaming, creta, painted presets, or paint presets. Before you open anything, before you touch anything, you're going to see a couple different file types. We're going to see a .kpp file, uh, we're going to see a .myb file, a .png, all sorts of stuff in here. Alright, you got tags, all of your information for your brushes that you use for your presets, your tags, everything is going to be in this folder. Now, you can see here that I have some backups. <laughs> uh, you probably won't have that. That's from me screwing around with the brushes and installing, uninstalling, all that stuff. So you won't have duplicates or backup versions of these brushes like I do. <laughs> so don't worry about that. And if you do see them, you are able to delete these and you won't break anything in Krita. I actually went ahead and cleaned up a lot of my duplicates because I didn't need the backup versions of those brushes. So, we are actually going to go and change my custom thumbnail for my custom brush. So I'm going to click on this one. This is, I have two here. I have a new and I have the, the regular and then I have the square that I made. This, I'm going to actually delete that. I don't need that. That was the test I was doing. So we're going to open this one up. Just double click it. We're going to wait a minute here. And immediately we see that it opens up like a normal Krita file. Now we only have one layer because again, this is not a, and you can make this a workable file and then save it as um, a brush thumbnail later on if you'd like. But for now, for this purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to leave it as is. We're not going to change the file type or anything like that. Nothing crazy. And I'm also going to go to settings, dockers. I'm going to open up my, where is it? Um, Vector Libraries. I'm going to drag this off. I'm going to go to the Brush Preset Icon Library. And we're just going to... Let's see, I have a pen. Let's drag this out. This is pretty big, so we're going to go ahead and scale this down. Okay, so we're going to make my custom thumbnail. I'm going to just kind of fast forward this so you don't have to sit there waiting for everything. Alright, so I am done. I kept it very simple. I didn't make it super, like, crazy. I just put the JCMI for Just Call Me Insane in the bottom corner so I could be like, okay, so yes, this is um, my brush from me. And I added the little line just so I can give a little bit of flair and I used the pen or a fine liner from the creative vector library just so I had something to quickly see right and I'm going to save it I'm going to save it exactly as it is I'm not going to change any of the settings I'm going to close it and I'm going to restart Krita and make sure that's updated all right so I open up Krita and as you can see in my brush presets, I have updated icon. I did notice I have two brushes now that say custom ink on it. And I'm not sure if that was already there before I did this 
or for some reason Krita just duplicated the brush with the icon and without the icon. And so it did update with the icon that I wanted. So I can go back and open up that file again from that same folder we were just in and it's still there. So if I need to make any changes, like maybe you realize this isn't as legible as you thought it would be in a small format, you can just go back and open that file, make your changes, save it, close it again. So I want to actually add some color here. Let's add purple. Want add a star. Probably not very legible at all, but hey, it's fine. This is a great star. I've never been good at making stars, <laughs> so bear with me. This looks funny. All right, that's, that's good enough. We'll go ahead and save that and see what happens. Oh, as you can see down here, it updated automatically. So it looks like I did have two of the same brushes, which is definitely a me problem. But regardless, uh, now you have your custom thumbnail for your custom brush. It's much easier than going into the brush editor and messing around things in this little corner here because it gets a little restrictive. And that's it for your custom thumbnail for your brushes. I probably will have to start planning out some thumbnails for my own brushes because I don't know how long you've been following me on YouTube, but I have a lot of white boxes and I'm, I probably should stop uh, relying on hovering over to see what I named these. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any issues, um, I do know that Krita has a backup automatically that I have set up. So as I'm doing this, I have backups of this file I just opened. It's okay to delete those. I'll actually show you right here. Um, I can delete this. I don't need that. It, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just, I have automatic saves on. Krita's going to be like, okay, you want to save this just to make sure it's right, you know. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Again, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.